Hi my students. Today we are going over experiment 6, pH measurement and its application. Let's go to the learning outcomes of this experiment. First is to use various methods to measure the pH of acids, base and salts. Second is to determine the dissociation constant Ka of acetic acid. Let's go to the theoretical background. pH is a measure of acidity or basicity of a solution. pH is defined as the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. For experiment part A and B, we will determine the pH of acidic, basic and salt solutions. There are two methods to determine pH in the laboratory. The first method involves the use of indicators, such as pH paper and the universal indicator. The second method is using the pH meter. Let's continue with part C for this experiment. We will determine the dissociation constant of weak acids. Weak acids and weak bases do not ionize completely. Method to determine Ka is by adding a weak acid solution to its conjugated base solution. The product is an acidic buffer solution. Here is the apparatus and chemical reagents used in this experiment. Make sure you take a sufficient amount of each solutions. Please do not waste it. So, my students. Now, we are ready to run the experiments. Let's go. Place 2 mL of 0 0.01 molar HCl solution into a test tube. Okay, next, dip the end of the pH paper into the HCl solution. And after that, remove the pH paper after a couple of seconds. And finally, compare the color of the pH paper to the color chart provided with the pH paper kit. Next, Record the pH of the solution. Repeat all the previous steps with the other solutions. Okay, for the pH meter, first, place a small amount of 0.01 molar HCl solution into a beaker. Turn on the pH meter. Rinse the pH electrode with the distilled water. Next, place the pH meter into the solution. Wait until a stable pH reading is shown and record the pH value. And finally, again, rinse the pH electrode with distilled water after use. Repeat all the previous steps with the other solutions. For the next steps, fill a test tube with 2 mL of 0.01 molar HCl solution. And then add 2 drops of methyl red to the test tube. Okay, record the changes in color. And then, fill 2 mL of 0.1 molar acetic acid solution into a test tube. Add in 2 drops of methyl orange to the test tube. Don't forget to record the changes in color. And for the final test tube, add in 2 mL of 0.1 molar ammonia solution. Then we add in 2 drops of alizarin yellow. And make sure you record the changes in color. Now, let's compare the color of the solutions with the chart provided to determine the pH range. And once you have finished, make sure you tabulate all the results of it. Now, for part B, fill 3 test tubes with 2 mL of 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution, 0.1 molar sodium acetate solution, and 0.1 molar ammonium nitrate solution. And next, test each of the salt solution with pH paper. Remember, always use a new pH paper to test different solutions. And finally, compare the color of all the pH papers to the color chart provided with the pH paper kit. By using the same salt solution, Add 2 drops of universal indicator in each of the test tubes. Then, 
check all the test tube to ensure the salt solution well mixed and compare the color of the salt solution with the universal indicator chart. And that is the end for part B. Make sure you tabulate all the results, state whether the salt solution are acidic, basic or neutral. Okay now, let's proceed with part C. First, level 2 conical flask as X and Y. I pack 25 ml of 0.1 molar acetic acid into the conical flask respectively. Add in 1 or 2 drops of phenolphthalein into the conical flask. Don't forget to record the initial reading of the burette. Titrate the acetic acid with 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide. Make sure you rinse the inner wall of the conical flask with distilled water. And when the volume of sodium hydroxide reach 10 ml, add the titrant drop by drop. When the solution becomes pink, this is the end point. Record the final reading of the burette. And for the next step, transfer the pink solution produced into conical plus Y. And the solution form is now called acidic buffer solution. For the next step, rinse the electrode of the pH meter with distilled water. And for the next step, place the pH meter into the buffer solution to determine its pH. Wait until a stable reading is shown and record the pH of the buffer solution. Tabulate the results and calculate the value of Ka. And that's it. Huh. Experiment is done. See you again.